so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit fun and different. I think I always say that when I start my videos. Today I'm going to be cooking for you guys. I'm going to make a chicken stir fry. It's something easy and simple. My mom gave me this recipe yesterday night when I came home from training and I was so exhausted and tired. And I was like, just give me an easy recipe, something I can make super quick at home. So I thought this would be a great recipe to share with you all and I think you might get some value out of it. So we'll get right to it. Chicken stir fry. That was an awkward ending. So first thing first is to wash the veggies. So chicken is done. I'm gonna take this off the pan and then I'm gonna cook the veggies now which I just chopped up. So the chicken took about roughly five to seven minutes or so. Not very long and these are chicken tenders, not chicken breasts or chicken thighs. So if you guys are looking at the store what to buy, buy the chicken tenders because they are easier to cook for stir fry. And I think this chicken turned out really nicely. I also, didn't cook it 100% all the way through because it is gonna go right back on the pan. It is like almost done, but not all the way there. So I'm gonna heat this pan back up. Garlic, so good. Now I'm gonna add the veggies. I'm gonna start the oven, put the heat at around medium low, and then I'm gonna add some olive oil. And then I'm gonna add the garlic that I just chopped up right now and I'm gonna mince it. I think that's the proper terminology for it. Sorry everyone, I'm not a chef, so my recipes are very easy and simple, things you can do at home. Might not be giving you guys the best directions, but it does a trick and I think it tastes good, or for the most part, Rasmus says it tastes good unless he's lying to me, but I don't think he is. So, if I can somewhat find the garlic in our house right now because Everything is a current mess when you move. I'm gonna put some olive oil on it, but you never wanna cook olive oil at high heat just because it is bad for the oil. It releases some toxins or chemicals, I think, when it does get to high heat. So I will heat up the pan and then I'm gonna turn it to low. Because I do watch my macros a little bit, and I'm sure if you guys are tuning in to my channel, you do maybe pay a little bit attention to your nutrition or you're looking for some guidance with your nutrition. And I do tend to pay attention to how many fats I eat throughout the day. So right now it's really hard for me to track oils, especially when Rasmus and I are eating together. So usually for something like this, I just wipe the pan with a paper towel. Um, so it's about one gram of fat, which I don't even count. Um, and then I'm gonna add the garlic. I love sauteed garlic. It tastes so good. Makes anything, it adds flavor to pretty much anything and everything. This is such a great, I love this recipe. You get your carbs, you get your protein, you get your veggies, and then I'll probably add a little bit of fat to the side of it. I think it's gonna be super flavorful and tasty. And on top of that, easy for any of you guys who need some easy recipes at home, especially now during the holidays. Up and then it is ready to go. 
But fun fact for myself is that I actually don't use the microwave. So I'm going to put the chicken and veggies in the bowls and then I'm just going to heat up the rice real quick and then add it in and we are done. Forgot to zoom in on the stir fry for you guys. Veggies and chicken, so simple but so delicious. Then we're going to add some soy sauce and rice. left for the day. Can you zoom in on the bowl? Can you see it? Alright, now I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I won't add it to Rasmus's because he likes to do his own thing with it. Adding some soy sauce, not tracking this. I don't even really think there's nothing to track. I mean, two grams of carbs per one tablespoon. But anyways, if you guys like watching this recipe and you guys want me to do more easy recipes like this or desserts or whatever it may be, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more macro-friendly recipes, uh, also make sure you guys like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.